Hello everybody. Today is Saturday, June 21st. Happy birthday to my big brother Damon. Um, it's his birthday today. Lots to talk about. Lots to celebrate. You know, um, this journey started back in October of 2011. And this past Thursday, was my final chemo, chemo number 12. You know, right about the eighth and ninth chemo, part of me wanted to give up. Part of me was like, I can't take this anymore. I can't take the pain anymore. I can't take the nausea anymore. I can't take the stress anymore. I can't do this anymore. Part of me just really wanted to give up. And what I've learned from reading material and, and, and being out there on the internet is that so many of us cancer patients get to that point. And it's like a hurdle. You've got to get over the hurdle. It's like running a marathon. Um, in the famous words of my friend who runs marathons, you hit a wall and you just you don't know if you can make it beyond that wall. And here I am to tell you that you can. You can make it past that wall. You can make it past that hurdle. And the, the day has arrived. My last chemo is done. No more. Chemo 12. I have done all of my cycles successfully. And here I am to live and to tell about it. And that is a blessing in itself. Um, a couple of great things have happened. Um, I had a... Um, a great friend, Jenny Wong, who is Henry's, Alex's, one of Alex's really good friends, um, decided to send us some cupcakes, and they arrived in glory, and um, although I can't really enjoy them right this sec, because I'm really nauseous, um, doesn't look like it, right? But I'm nauseous. Uh, I can't enjoy them right now, but I did get to eat one before I got chemo, so um, thank you. They're delicious. The family's enjoying them. And even one of Juliana's friends ate one and she loved it. So thank you. Another good thing that happened was my friend Julie sent us this magazine called Cure. C-U-R-E. And I believe that it's free for any chemo patients out there, any cancer patients, I should say. Um, if you want this magazine, send me a private message or um, go to my Facebook page, look me up, and um, maybe I'll send you the link to the page. But I think you can look it up online. It's C-U-R-E. Great articles about cancer, about survivability, about caregiving to cancer patients, about some of the things that happen to you that you don't know why it's happening to you, but it explains it. Um, you know, one of the articles in this magazine comes close to the heart because I've been going through a lot emotionally and, um, you know, I'm not afraid to say that I'm depressed. I, I fell into a huge depression, um, and a lot of it is being explained to me by just some of the materials that I'm reading and, um... You know, there's so many blessings out there, and all of you have continued to pray for us and, and send all your positive vibes and stuff, but I'm still human. We're all human. Everybody in this family is human, and we're all going through our own demons right now. So, you know, continue to pray for us as a family because cancer didn't just affect me. It affected my family. So um, pray for us. Think of us, and I know you have, and I know you are. Well, the only other news that um, I have to report is that I do not know yet what the results will be of my scans. The scans are going to be planned probably for some time in the next two weeks. I do know that my lung capacity isn't what it used to be. 
it has actually diminished, I think, a little bit from all the chemo and all the steroids and all the everything that they've given me. But, you know, I have hopes that I'll be still able to, you know, walk a treadmill, ride a bike, um, maybe perhaps even walk a, you know, a 5K again, the remission run. Um, the Bill Crew remission run is something I'm looking forward to in November. So I have goals. I'm not going to let this cancer keep me down. I'm not going to let cancer ruin my life. Um, and neither should you. If you know anybody out there fighting their battle right now, don't let it get the best of them. Although it's hard. So the last of this is the most up in the air item is whether or not I'm gonna to have to do radiation I don't want to do radiation but if the doctor tells me that it's gonna increase my chances of a sustained remission and no secondary cancers popping up sometime later then I'll have to do it and then that'll be just more chapters to add to these pages um, I've had the opportunity of being treated at a wonderful place, the Northwest Cancer Center here in the Woodlands. Dr. Pachapala and uh, Dr. Matawal, my lung doctor, and my surgeon. Um, everybody, everybody that I've come into contact with, all the chemo nurses, Melinda, um, especially I have to mention because you know, she she noticed. She noticed that something was wrong with me and she took the time to talk to me and made me realize that I needed more than just... I needed to talk to somebody about what was going on with me because I was depressed. So thank you, Melinda, for seeing through the facade and the smiles and knowing that there was something seriously wrong. Thank you to all my friends that have also seen deeper inside me and have taken the time to call me and talk to me and um, and just give me their wisdom and their advice and no strings attached type of advice which is the best kind thank you to my daughter Justine for giving me probably one of the best surprises in a long time. She's coming to see me. And um, she's coming to see me, coming to see all of us, not just me. But um, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely excited about seeing my daughter. I haven't seen her in a year. Her sister hasn't seen her in a year. And, um, and Alex hasn't seen her since we left Florida. So we're really, really happy. To see her. She's coming next week, so that's great news for us. Hi, Mana. This is you and Doll World. Yeah, this is Juliana's um, representation, getting her ready for doll play when her sister gets here. Yeah. So, lots of good things. Um, I'm finally done with chemo. I am going to now probably take care of cutting the rest of my hair that's left into some type of like a pixie cut and uh, continue to wear the little wigs until my hair is um, all evened out. And I'll let you guys know what the prognosis or everything, you know, happens once I do my scans and whether or not I'll have to do radiation. That'll be just another chapter. So, my continued appreciation and my love for my husband who has stuck with me through such this difficult process. It's, no one knows. Just, you just don't know. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you to Juliana for putting up with mommy's sickness and not being able to be there for her when I'm laying on a couch, nauseous and sick. Thank you to all my friends for stepping in and cooking me dinners 
and bringing us food and donating money and donating gift cards and donating, donating, donating. Thank you guys. God bless you and I hope that these gifts that you've given us come back to all of you threefold. Your kindnesses do not go unappreciated in my eyes or the eyes of my family. So bless you all. So, the fight is still on because I may not have to do chemo, but I still have to figure out what's going to happen with radiation. But regardless, I will continue this fight. Fight's on. I love you guys all, and thank you for watching my videos and sharing. Have a great Saturday. Bless you all.